Hello everyone, welcome back to Ogre Battle 64. If you're watching this on release day, well, it sounds like I kind of fibbed to you about the series taking a short hiatus, but that's okay. We just didn't plan on doing this one for a little bit, but uh, some fates conspired against us for our productivity, and I need to get some episodes out right quick. So that's going to be Ogre Battle 64. This might be a long one. You may want to, well, actually it probably won't be. I don't know. You have the time bar. I don't right now. We have a couple errands to run before we start the next mission. So between episodes, I did get the second Elemental Pedro, but I can actually get two more, and I didn't realize I could get one super crazy easy in one of the stages we already completed. So we are going to head back to the Highlands of Sothan, and we need to run a couple quick errands here. Actually, just one quick errand, basically. Uh, we've got everyone else equipped and trained. Everything should be good. The first thing we need to do is find the city of Jerom, which is all the way over yonder. Oh, tits. Well, that's going to take forever if I don't use a flying unit, so let's go grab... Uh, who was it? Oh, Sheen. I was right there on him. All right, Sheen. Why don't you head over to the city? Also... Jam Starro has wanted me to name somebody, and I totally kept forgetting to name someone after Jam Starro. So as I am recording this, cool. <clears throat> as I'm recording this right now, I am sending him a message on Discord. A link is in the video description, where I'm typing "Yo, which name?" Ah, shit. Maybe I shouldn't do this one-handed. Which name? And shit. And gender. Did you want for Ogre Battle 64? And if he responds to me before the end of the recording session, I'm going to do that. And this is probably going to be a little trippy for Jam himself because he is going to hear me in real time, pseudo sort of, uh, typing this message, I guess. Anyway, we're going to grab Sheen. We're going to enter the stronghold right quick. And we're going to discuss things with an old woman. You're in the Le revolutionary army. Nasty battle, huh? Thankfully, there weren't any casualties from here, but a stray arrow hit our dog. Since I support the cause, I try not to blame you, but my son's depressed. If you have a dog to spare, would you give it to him? You got it. So what they are asking for is a hellhound. And luckily, there are hellhounds apparently right here. Um, oops, didn't mean to go back in there. You're in the re- Oh, she's just gonna repeat the same shit. Okay. So, let's see. I need to find... Uh, if you don't have one, one can easily find the Baron Srung Town. Okay. So we're gonna grab Sheen. And we're just gonna start flying about. Is it- Are these Barons? Sure are. Alright, we're gonna fly back and forth here in the Barons. Um, and I'm gonna obviously time skip this nonsense because goddamn will none of you want to see us just fly back and forth for a while. That took entirely too long, but we made a special unit with Vanilla, who now has herself a puppy, and we're gonna give that puppy away to this poor little child. A while ago, the Revolutionary Army came here. They started fighting here, and my dog Bacchus got lost. Mom said he went to live on a farm or something. He ran far away and won't be coming back. But I already know. I know he's alive. It's kind of a downer because I was going to make a joke about it. But anyway... You're from the Revolutionary Army. How dare you? Why did you have to do that to Bacchus? Give me back my Bacchus now! Uh... Right. Oh, do I have to go back in again? Is that what I have to do? I think that's what I have to do. Yep, here we go. Really? This doggy is for me? Yeah, sure, kid. Sorry for giving you a manly voice, Vanilla. Take good care of it, okay? Sure, of course! But this dog has two heads. Do I have to feed them both? Only if you want both of them to live. Oh, well. Here, I have this beautiful stone I found in the forest. This upside-down purple Triforce is the Pedra of Bane! Hooray! 
Now we have three Pedras. And it occurred to me I can't get the fourth one because I don't have enough cash. But I'll do that after this battle we are about to do. So we're going to head to the organized screen. We're going to break up Vanilla's unit. So we put her back into uh, Team Galadriel, I believe. Is it Galadriel? It sure is Galadriel. Okay, Vanilla, you are back to being demoted. To which I'm sure she will be sad. But otherwise, we are... Oh, shit. Otherwise, we are basically good to go here. We just need to slap an item on Galadriel's group since... She left one for a moment. Okay, we are good to go. So the next stage we are going to, let me pull up the web page, is, well, I mean, I guess it's the one with the red bip on it, isn't it? Is the darn dullest the crossroads. So we are heading this away for now. And a little birdie called this kick-ass FAQ by C19, the setting sun. What's this guy's name? Sirik Z. I haven't given him credit yet. Sirik Z uh, has given me intel that there is a freaking cockatrice unit in here. So we're going to have to get Cam out to deal with that. Here's the plan. Listen carefully. Let's get started. We'll make Romella a base of operations. Fort Akasis, the day and a half east is our goal. We must capture the fort. Our scouts have been identified an enemy legion between Ramella and Fort Akasis. We can win or lose based on our approach. We can avoid them, but since we don't know their plans, we can't do anything foolish. What should we do? Well, obviously not do anything foolish. I'm sure you're aware that some of your men can change classes, some can even become centurions. We have gained information on the use of legions from the Western Division. It seems very difficult, it would be wise to take time to learn how to effectively control a legion. There is no way to effectively control a legion in this game. They were not well thought out. So don't worry your pretty little face on that one, uh, Hugo. We're not going to use them. Do you understand? Let's go. I should ask you the same thing, you stupid. Okay, so, as usual, we will do nothing for a minute and see if we get charged. And I might send Slappy out as a scout, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for where this cockatrice unit is, because I don't know where he is. But we're going to have to pull put out some scouts, so as always... The scouts, or the group, shall be Kalen, Cam, uh, Cute Shaman, and then the rest of the weakest units, so they can get some experience points. I guess I should get them out now. Wow, those are like three of the most powerful units we've got, too. That's ridiculous. Did we know that Cute Shaman got promoted to a paladin? I don't remember if I did that between episodes, or... If he was a paladin in the last episode. I don't think he was a paladin in the last episode. Anyway, the point is, uh, Q Shame is a paladin now. And kicks all sorts of ass. Um, so good things are happening to the army, the battalion, today. Um, so hopefully this battle goes a lot smoother than some of our previous ones. Especially that one where I got my the shit kicked out of me by a goddamn cock dress. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, literally a minute, and see if anyone actually comes after me, which it doesn't look like. All right, we'll leave that city for later. Let's head north. Kalen can take that city north. Whoop, everyone turned. What are we looking at here? Gunther has a few dragons. All right, that's nothing. Bring it, Gunther, you stupid. And then we'll send Kalen and another unit north to capture that city to the north. Slappy should be able to make quick work of this nonsense. Ow. Guys. All right, there we go. Like, once they're on offense, everything's fine. Are you on leader? Nope, better be. 
But anyway, things should go fairly smoothly here. So hopefully you guys are... Oh, and... Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to show you how many Pedros we had. Although I've told you we have three, but I can't remember the second one's element at this point because it's been a while since I've recorded anything. Well, let's see this leaderless. We can go on mop-up duty on this one. Once the battle is over with. Wow. Slappy's unit is just... unfair and destroying every... Oh my god, there may not even be anyone left. Oh, well, okay. There's one dragon who's basically got half a wing left on his body. Oh good, he healed himself. Okay, so, ah, El the Pedra of Earth. So just having three usually means I've got enough that I can constantly use them if necessary. So we will have no problems with Pedras from here on out. Because the trick with using a Pedra is to not use it incessantly and instead just use it when you need. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess we'll send Tila out for support. Ugh. All right, Tila, I'm ordering you to take the unit and cute shaman takes the town, go. And meanwhile, Galadriel here will hunt down that unit we left behind. I suppose I'll stop there and then we'll cut back in when we either make a push or uh, something interesting happens. Ah, shit, that's a flying unit. I may have to send Sheen after that unit if he continues to be an ass. Oh, well, let's see how this, ro uh, this works out before we do anything. It should be a fairly decent unit. Are you set to leader? Because you have full access to the to the uh, priest, shaman, cleric, whatever. Bam! Aw, oh, come on. There we go. I made up for it. Uh, whoa! The Swordmaster has an attack like um, Samurai do in the in Ogre Battle Classic. Or if they're the ones who took their place or something. I don't know. Oh god, that's so annoying. We should win this either way. I don't think they outdamaged us. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good, solid three hit. Oh, yeah. And Pally's get a third attack, and that made the difference. Suck it, enemy unit. Hey, and we've got a fighter now, too. Damn, good work, cute shaman. Holy crap, that couldn't have gone any better. Too bad I can't change his class while I'm here. Okay, so liberating. Did I say liberating? There is no way that said liberating. Oh, because I sent the wrong unit. I should have sent Kaelin in. God damn it. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. Actually, you know what? Let's, um... Let's send Kaelin up that way anyway. And then we'll grab Cute Shaman and bring him home so we can change that unit that we just... character that we just got and change him into something better than a fighter. Hmm, this one might be a little less good for us. Well, I'm trying to think. The Sword Masters will hit the Valkyrie. The dragon will hit the wizard. Yeah. Uh oh. Never mind, I guess only the wizard is in trouble. Whoa! Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. I might need Kalen's unit for this one, because if I don't keep them stunned and, or paralyzed or something, then that dragon is gonna run. Rap Ugh. Yeah, because he's going to get to do two of those. Oof. Oof. Maybe I should love and peace on. I thought I could do an entire unit, but I have to do one character. So I'm tempted to love and peace on, but I don't really have any... 
Uh, all right. What, Tila, why don't you just hang out back at the base for me? Just, just hang out there. And, and keep a, keep an eye on things. Wow, and that's the main base. No, that's the main base, okay. So, my plan here... Yeah, and he's gonna get away. Alright, Galadriel, why don't you just capture this city? And I'll clean up that unit with... Sheen, so I can follow him in the air. I guess... I'll time skip until I have my next plan. It's been three days and nothing has happened yet, so we're going to take Slappy and use him as a recon scout and see what's going on with this supposed legion. It might be smarter to take the vanguard this way, capture the city, and try to flank the legion, but I want to see what I'm dealing with first. Because now we can see the legion at least. Let's see if we can figure out where the... Yeah, see, this is... A, okay, so... In the last episode, or whenever it was, I mentioned that named units can have... Can be the core unit of a, le, of a legion, but so can centurions. And centurions are garbage. So this specific unit is extremely weak. But the other units... Like, we're gonna have to figure out which one, if any of this group his cockatrices, and then plan from there. Oof. And all paladin- All the paladins are in the back row? That's gonna be obnoxious. Oh, there it is. Freya's unit. Freya's unit has two cockatrices. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right, so it's since it's their left wing, we're gonna grab Cam and we're gonna send him into this forest, and I'm gonna see if I can maneuver their legion in such a way that I can take their right edge. Basically, I'm trying to see who's gonna wind up moving first here. Because sometimes the enemy doesn't ever move. They let you come to them. But sometimes they will move out, and it all depends. So we're gonna have to do this a wee bit carefully. Because Slappy or the Vanguard could handle the rest of this. I saw that number one turn blue for a second. Because if Cam can engage the cockatrices without any of the other units moving and then pull back, then we will be fine. Helen, let's make sure I've got my thumb right over this pause button in case this goes bad. Nope, they're not moving. All right, I can engage. If they're not going to move, this gives me a chance to send out specific units to counter their specific units, which will make this a hell of a lot easier on me. So, having an anti-cockatrice unit helps me out tremendously. Oh, whatever. That is why legions are extremely weak. Supportive attack, whatever. They hit me for a combined five hit points. I friggin' why even bother, man? That should be a win. Or not. Actually, that's not so bad because that means they don't move. Because if their legion gets broken up. Cam, you better be engaging correctly. Good. All right, I'm gonna immediately field pause. If this goes the length and we can, well, damn himself's a bit hurt. Nothing a heal leaf won't fix. I was gonna say if this goes the distance, I might call in an elemental Pedra, but I don't think it's really necessary. It's not 
necessary. This is just one of those fights that's going to be annoying as hell. That's okay. But I think I'm going to move Cam so he approaches from the south again, because I don't want him... Oh, he's going to do it anyway. Oh, god damn it. Fucking stop healing yourself. Even though I'm about to do the exact same thing. Um... Because I don't want him getting attacked back in the direction of the rest of the Legion or something. Where are you going, Cam? Just take a direct route. I mean, it's not that hard. You don't have to go to the road just to engage Helen. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay. We could also flank Helen which would slightly blunt the cockatrice's power, but not a whole lot. Because we could attack from the right, which would put the Valkyrie in the back row and put one of the cockatrices in the front row. That is such a weak attack. It's so pointless. Cam himself is going to have to keep getting his ult here. So this is just a battle of attrition. Oh, wait. Oh, god damn it. I didn't get the button pressed quick enough. We had our Pedro charged. Ah, oh, tits. Don't heal. Good. All right. Cam, again, this way. And then this way. And get Helen. Go. He might get too tired. He might not have a chance to. I don't think... She, I wonder if she's technically in the... In the city. I don't think she is, because it goes off of where the core unit is, I believe. So she shouldn't be healing between battles. Yeah, she's definitely not healing between battles. Don't miss front... Uh, oh god. Cam might actually go down if I'm not careful. If he gets critted, he's gonna go down. Hmm. He might go down anyway. No! Damn it! Well, this has led to a problem, hasn't it? God, we didn't even do any damage to these idiots. All right, Elemental of Earth, or Pedro of Earth, go. Take somebody out, please. Thank you. Better than nothing. All right, that's good, too. Well, I'm going to do a thing I don't like doing. Because um, that unit's leaderless and I can't do anything about it. Do we have a witch's hut anywhere? Uh, uh, shit. All right, well, I'm going to have to do this then. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, Cam, I need you to quit gate back. Apparently the... <laughs> Let's say apparently the golems are smart enough to use a quick gate. And then we're going to use an altar of resurrection, of which I only have three remaining now, too, to get Cam back to his feet. Since I made a dumb error. Alright, we're going to dispatch Cam again, but we're going to leave him back at headquarters long enough so he recovers. So I guess... We're gonna have another screen wipe for his- Why is he at full health? So I guess Altars of Resurrection are give full health rather than just the one hit point that witches do. Alright, fair enough. Anyway, we're gonna time skip again until Cam gives this another shot. Um, he'll, he'll just hang out here in the headquarters until he heals up. I can't believe I've already been recording for over an hour. Okay, now we should be able to guess somewhere better, especially since we can team up on their leader. And hopefully leave the unit leader less. Although she's pretty damn good at blocking attacks. Though we will probably win the fight on damage, assuming she doesn't block everything. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Alright, good.
That should do it. God damn it. Well, at least we uh got rid of it, got rid of the leader. So Cam still needs to go chase that unit down. Hold on. Hold your position, Cam. Okay, so that unit slid over because in the hierarchy the unit was lower than Ellen, so he mo or Helen, so he moves up to take her place. That means I don't think I can scare the unit. Whoops. I don't think I can scare Helen's unit. Well, maybe I can. Whoa, Cam. Uh, orders are evade, but move and Tell you what, try to attack Helen, but avoid the Legion if you can help it. Wow, he is just not listening to me. All right, fair enough. Um, you'll probably lose this. Just because they have a sheer amount of attack power that we will not have. Uh, like, they're not doing that much damage, but we don't have enough attackers on our side to really get much accomplished here. And Cam himself is hurt again. Um, well, if we attack the cockatrice from the rear, like, if we attack Helen's unit from the rear, then it can't be- Really? All right. Uh, hold on. Okay, Cam, come back home. This is getting ridiculous. All right, so... Oh boy. Yeah, that, this is stupid. Okay, so let's work on their inner, their their paladin unit. Let's see, it's Garcia or Scott. I assume it's yeah. Okay, so Garcia has three paladins and two knights, but they're really stupidly arranged. So as long as we attack them from the front, we're okay, because all they'll be able to do is heal. We'll need multiple frontline attackers or multiple backline attackers just a bunch of dudes who can get shit done so what is in sin's unit sin's unit might be able to do it so we're going to send sin out here and we're going to see if we can get close enough to assault garcia because I want the Vanguard to deal with this, and Slappy's already powerful enough. We don't really need to do anything more. My concern of not being more aggressive is if I take this city, I don't know what their Legion is going to do, and I would really prefer not to find out. So why don't you do this? Hopefully she's smart enough to attack Garcia from the front. She is attacking from the side. That's not good. That's not good at all. Holy shit, man. It's not so much that I feel like the unit is in danger because it's not really. It's just that if we attack it from the front, we'll ha be able to attack their lead. And... Well, even then, I'm not sure... You know what? We're gonna need Kalen for that, actually. Because there's no way we're gonna be able to wear down their hit points fast enough. Since they have three fucking healers in the back. Essentially. Ow. Yeah, that's going to be the only way we can do it. Because we're going to need Kalen's Pumpkin Shower to be able to pull this off. Alright, so... Hold. Alright, so Sin, why don't you just hang out? We're going to grab this next weakest unit, which is Aethel, apparently. He's going to go help guard this city. And Kalen, I need you to come up here. Because this shit's going to get stupid. Kalen is now in position, and... Things are probably going to get a little weird. Hopefully she attacks from the front. Why are you attacking from the flank? I wonder if I can override that by telling her to go to a location instead. Because that's 
that's just nanners. She should at least hit. Yeah, hit like that. Okay, that's what I needed to do. Fair enough. Okay, so we're going to win this fight by damage because they only have two attackers on this formation. We're going to do a shit ton of damage with the pumpkin head. Oh, yeah. Guys, please get your first healing bits out of the way. I would love for you to get your healings out of the way first. All right, have at it, everybody else. Yeah, that's going to do a shit ton of damage. Oh, yes. Okay, now hopefully our sorceress goes after their lead exactly like that. Now they are fucked because they are leaderless and they will be scattered. The problem here is we're going to have to attack them from the back now because they're going to run. And that's going to cause us some problems. Let's go with the Pedro of Water. And that didn't help me at all. I was hoping it would hit the weak one, but what? Oh my god, that actually did a significant amount of damage. Alright, so they only get one healing from the back? I thought they got two. Huh, well, whatever, that worked out. Okay, now I should have field paused because their Legion is going to shuffle again. Yep, you can see that unit is moving already. So I need Kaylin to get the fuck out of there. Otherwise she's going to get hit at an odd angle. All right, stop and turn around. Let's reevaluate. So Scott has moved closer to Kaylin. Scott's formation does not help us. Um, Scott is too physically strong and all of his units are spread out. So it really won't help us to send Kaylin after him. However, let's check Kate's unit. Hmm. Kate would be tough because we could we could take out Kate herself, but it would put the sorceress at extreme extreme danger. Um. Well, I mean, we've got to take. Sometimes in where you've got to take a risk, right? So we're going to move Kaelin up a little bit. And I'm going to do a test because I've been asking a question rhetorically for a while. Whether my people heal their hit points when they rest. So our pumpkin head has 69 hit points. Let's camp and see where he's at after he wakes up. Kaelin is awake. That's the wrong unit. Kaelin is awake. Pumpkinhead is at 84 hit points. They do gain health when they rest. That's fascinating. I did not know. All right, so let's see if she can hit... Uh, who was that? Kate. Let's see if she can hit Kate's unit. And... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If she attacks Kate from the right, I mean the left, Kate's left, that puts the dragon in the rear, and he's going to cause me massive problems, and the swordmasters would be in the front. Okay, never mind. Attack from the front, please. What are you doing, Kalen? Okay, good. All right, so again, they're set to attack leader. If we can just get the priest disrupted, everything should be okay. That wasn't too bad. And she just blew her first heal on nothing. Excellent. Okay, the sorceress is going to take some damage. I'm going to field pause. Here we go. Good. Even better. Even better! Good job, Kalen. All right, so... Oof. Pumpkin head is down. Um... All right, let's... Eh, that's not gonna help us, never mind. I was gonna call it an elemental pager, but there's no reason to. It wouldn't help us very much. Ouch. Okay. 
That sucked. Wow, we lost anyway, even though we did the pumpkin shower. That's pretty bad. Okay, that's all right. We're going to have Kaylin retreat back to headquarters. She's not going to go into headquarters yet. I just want her to pull back for now. So their legion is down to only two units, with three that are leaderless. Um, I could attack the core unit because it's extremely weak, but then their other legion unit is going to run around and I don't know what, I, what he's going to do. So I would rather keep picking at their flanks than risk anybody. All right, let's rest up. Uh, what level is he? What level are you, Scott? 18, 16, 16, 16, 16. Okay. What is Sin's unit? Level 14, 13. Oof. 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 Hmm. All right, Kaelin, you just hang out. We What we need to do is find the witch's hut and get the pumpkin head resurrected. That won't cost me that much. Heretica, what is your unit composed of? Uh, that would not turn out well for that archer. Although, the cleric and the sorceress would be protected. Alright, I'm not risking it. Alright, Slappy, you do this. Uh, so, go over here, and then go over here, and hit Scott from the front, preferably. And then Sin can hit the core unit, and then we can start picking off the survivors while we take that central town. Because I need power to take this unit down. Like, Cam could do it. Actually, I guess I should have sent in Cam. I should have brought him back out. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter now. Shit's about to get real for this enemy unit. Holy shit! Like I just said. The other problem we have with Slappy's unit is their our wizard is just never going to get evil enough. I was checking numbers between episodes, and Slappy's unit is too good. That's why we've got a paladin now in the front instead of a berserker. Because, for whatever reason, his alignment is just too high. Probably because he was the main unit when we were dealing with ogres and other evil units like that. So, Slappy, unfortunately, is never going to have... Like, all of my wizards are even high alignment, so I don't know what I did wrong there. But we'll never have an Archmage because we need a very low alignment to get an Archmage. There are even items that lower alignment, and it wasn't enough. I wasn't able to... Yeah, see, and they keep gaining alignment. Like, just, for whatever reason, it's something we can't help. Alright, but that unit's now leaderless. So the core unit is exposed. So we're going to grab Slappy. What what kind of quality is in this city? The morale? Uh, low. Uh, Alright, Slappy, just take the city. Fucking just take it. And then Sin can go after the core unit of the Legion. I guess I can move the Vanguard up at that point. So all but the weakest, I mean all but the strongest two units can start moving up now. We'll leave Cute Shaman and Kaelin behind, ironically. And then they will uh, wind up moving out eventually once we get a little bit more organized here. All right, unpause. So, all right, that city's mine now. It's been captured. I think that's it, it was captured, excellent. All right, yes, okay, Sin has McNorton. This should be an easy win for Sin. It better be an easy win for Sin because they don't have anything that they can really hit us with. Yeah, we're gonna do a ton, well, all right, maybe not. Ow. Ow. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I'm mistaken, and Sin's unit can't even handle a bunch of soldiers. Well, I believe Sin's the weakest unit on the field, so she can continue mop-up duty and get some of those valuable experience points. 
So that's what we're gonna do, because it doesn't look like the Legion is moving. Legion. It has one unit left. It doesn't look like... Yeah, she's not even healing herself. Oh, here comes Legion number two. Okay, so they did have a plan up their slaves. So we're gonna call a field pause, and I wanna make sure that there's no surprises in that unit who could possibly do us much harm. And then we'll go on cleanup duty once we have a chance. There's gonna be a lot of cleanup duty, because already there's, what, five or six units on the field that are leaderless. About to be one more. So we can just get the entire vanguard into the city that Slappy took and then go from there and figure out what we're doing. And I need to change that fencer to a paladin or something. Whoa, up, up, up. Hold. All right, Sin, I need you to, re to return to the town immediately. Go. Oh wait, pause again, because I don't know what I'm dealing with here. Okay, Nox has a golem, an archmage in the front, and two clerics. That's a pain in the ass. Easily doable, though. Meline has three healers, one of whom is not positioned correctly, and two knights, one of whom is not positioned correctly. That's a weird unit. Probably will be annoying. And then Nox, oops, not Nox, but y Eurydice is the core unit, and she's got nothing. Okay, so the Vanguard can handle this. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Slappy. I'm, I'm tempted to withdraw him, but I think we need the defense. They're going after the headquarters. I think. What are they doing? Nope, they're going after Slappy. All right, bring it. Let's see what happens when you engage Slappy, you stupids. Right after the cleric. Yeah, we've, we've got this group set to leader, but there is no, like, we can't reach the lead priest. However, interestingly enough, their lead priest can only heal one person at a time because of the way they're split up. So we've got, like, we've damaged four different sot- well, never mind. Oh my god. That's such an annoying unit. Such a- yep, they're back to full strength. Unfucking believable Well, we're still gonna win this again by damage total. It's just gonna be an, an annoying stalemate until they start to sleep. And then we can gank them from the rear. Yeah, because this, this isn't going to go get anywhere. So we're just going to heal up again. Oh, she's able to hit a diagonal? I didn't know that. Well, shit, man. It's even more annoying, then. Well, that's nice. At least we got something accomplished. And the Legion won't be pushed back because that's not the core unit. It's going to take her a minute to get back in position anyway. The oh, jeez. Wow, this is gonna be over pretty quickly. Yeah. 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 Um, alright, so this is gonna break up the Legion, the second Legion. And then I don't know what the two other units are going to do. If they will maintain orders and try to take this city and or Slappy or if they'll start running off and doing their own thing. Which, I sort of hope it's the latter, so we can make an effort to pick them off. Uh, too bad we couldn't finish the job. That's all right, the Vanguard will do it. So that's another leaderless unit that's out on the field. And, yep, they're still, looks like they're still coming after them. Slappy has too many experience points. Like, he's running away with the power, and I'm not entirely happy with that, but at the same time... Oh. My. God. That is a frightening amount of power. As I was just saying. Holy shit. 
Oh. That's scary. That's scary, Slappy and Paladin, whose name I don't know. Oof. Ooh, oh, jeez. Slappy's all, you think you can crit for over 100? Hold my beer. And he hits her for 110. That is absurd. Okay. Uh, well, again, this unit is leaderless. So that's cleanup duty for the Vanguard. Is that, did the Archmage unit lose their leader too? I think, I think they did. Okay. Oh, that was the Archmage. Look at all those units. There are seven leaderless units on the field that we can see, plus the eighth unit, the Hawkman unit, which is also leaderless, wherever the fuck he is. This is the only unit that's going to cause us some grief just because of the way it's set up. It's difficult for us to reach the lead. So this part's going to be annoying. We need to get lucky with criticals. And the elemental pager is going to have to come through as well. Um, we may as well see what the elemental pager of Bane looks like. So, Ugh. God, that's so annoying. Like, this is another one where we sort of need Kalen, but the pumpkin head is down. I may want to go back and get another pumpkin head, just so I have a backup in case the first one goes down. So, I'm hoping that enough time can go that we can get the Pedra. Ugh, this is going to come down to the wire. Nope, we'll have it. We'll have it here. Okay. So let's check the Pedro of Bane. See what that looks like. Looks like the leader's gonna get hit. Ew! That did not do a lot of damage. Nope. That did not do a lot of damage for what we needed. So we're gonna be stalemated with that unit until I figure out something. But I'm gonna do all of that in the time skip, because this is gonna take for goddamn ever to clean all this up. Where is she going? Wait a minute. Oh, she's giving me her back! Sin! Uh, or, no, Slappy, I need the power on this one. Slappy, you take that unit and go fucking fast. Please. That's lucky. I can't believe they gave- she gave me her back. Alright, Sin, you need to start- oh, go this way. Start with the unit that has, like, half a soldier left. Is that another Centurion? Oh yeah, we did take out two Centurion. Oh my god. This is gonna be ridiculous. Alright, so Sin's gonna be on cleanup duty. Probably just Sin. I'm not gonna dole out the experience points evenly. We'll let Sin gain some. Ooh, and Malene got super slowed down because of the mountains, so this is gonna be fun. Because now, all three of the frontliners have access to the lead. And, well, that's that. Okay, there's another leaderless unit on the field. So, this is going to be a long time skip for me. For you guys, it's only going to be one second, because I lowered the time skip time. And once we're on the other side, this uh, entire field is going to be pretty vacant of living, breathing people. And it's just going to be littered with corpses, just the way we like it. Exclamation mark nukes. I got sloppy because I got impatient, and this has turned into a bit of a clusterfuck of a cleanup duty, unfortunately. We've had medium casualties, which is too many casualties for cleanup duty. So, unfortunately, uh, we have a couple who are down, we have a couple who are stoned in the bad way, and we have a couple more, including one soldier, who just straight up died on us. So, things have been a little bad for the battalion, only because I got greedy and got stupid. For example, that cockatrice unit that I had to hunt down, I decided that uh, I would not take care and take patience and make sure that I was not attacking him from the uh, anything but the rear, but instead we attacked him from the rear, and he decimated a couple of our units. One cockatrice will fuck up your entire day. As you saw quite a while ago, and even here... Wow, are we getting our sh the shit kicked out of us. Because without a cleric, that Valkyrie is not long for this world. I'm just gonna pull back, because... I don't want any more of my units going down, and my characters. 
So, it's been an unpleasant... Oh, jeez, and now Heretica's in danger. God damn it. Um, see, Heretica's a bad unit to take on all those sort... Mm, actually, she's not too bad as long as she faces front. If she's attacked from the rear, it's going to be bad. But if she's attacked from the front, she might be okay. So we're going to have to do a little bit more work here. Hide is now out because we've had to reach the deep into the bench to deal with all these... Oh yeah, V-Cap is out because Tila's down. Um, not Tila herself, but she one of her characters has turned to stone, I believe. It, it hasn't been good, and it hasn't been good because I've made a ton of mistakes that um, I shouldn't have made. Like... This situation, like this sword master, like three sword masters and two fencers, that is a formidable unit to deal with. This is a possibly we may need slappy unit to deal with. Although I I don't think we will. I think Heretica can deal with it. We just have to make sure that Berserker stays alive. Because um, their sword masters don't get three attacks unless they're in the front row. The only problem is their fencers and swordmasters are blocking fucking everything, as you just saw there. Um, but we're okay. And again, it's one of those things where you have to have your shitty units take their lumps and keep going. Because this is the only way they're going to gain any experience points. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta let him get hurt a little bit. But having a unit go down, I mean a character go down, um, like we have in the reserve units now, or having entire units crippled due to fucking ca uh, cockatrices, that doesn't help anything. So I'm going to send Heretica back up here. Even though she was closer to Scott, I want to engage the sword unit. That's His, his name's Nigel. Because he's, what he's doing is he's sallying forth, as you can see here. So I would rather him exhaust himself by sallying forth, sallying forth, and climbing this mountain to get to us, where we can fight on our terms face to face, rather than kind of in the back. Plus, we should make it leaderless after this exchange, unless the sorceress somehow totally whiffs on her attack. Like, they're hitting us hard, but... They can't heal, and as long as they're dumb enough to keep sallying forth rather than... Oh, well, forgot about the archer. She can take care of this shit then. Anyway, um, what Nigel should be doing is hiding in his little hidey hole, but because he keeps sallying forth... Oh, man, they did such heavy damage. Um, Why can't I not pause? Was oh, this the last act of the battle? No, it just... He's going through his animation. Got it. Um, he should have stayed at home to heal, because by sallying forth, he was never going to heal. So now we've got him leaderless, so we've got more units we need to clean up. Um, interestingly, their second legion that attacked us was the only unit that was guarding this city. So this city is empty now. I think we own it at this point. Yeah, we own it. But, like, there there was just nobody there. So I guess Heretica is going to keep doing cleanup duty for a while. And uh, hopefully I continue to hit these units from the rear rather than hitting them from any other angle. Like, Garcia's been a pain in the ass, too. Because by attacking him from the back... It allowed him, because that's the unit that was Paladins and Knights, he suddenly started being on the offense, and he was wrecking our ass. So, we've just had to do some really bizarre stupidity here in order to get anything accomplished. And, again, it was mainly my fault, because what I did was, all those victories at the beginning that got us to this point, like... I almost felt like a tactical genius because as slow as we moved trying to deal with that first legion, we wrecked that first legion and they didn't do anything to us. And then I got cocky and I'm like, well, shit, we may as well keep the steamroller going and destroy everything that moves. But then 
I allowed that to not work as meticulously as I usually do, and that has resulted in a ton of mistakes. So, I, uh, it hasn't been a very good, uh, follow-up for me. So, it is what it is. Now, which unit is this? That's Kate. Okay, she's down to one Swordmaster and one fucking dragon. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do something with her. I'm, I'm probably gonna wait until she uh, rests, since she's freaking out right now. She's gonna rest in a second. Then we'll send whoever that is. Is that VCAP? Whoever that is, we'll send her after them. But we're gonna finish cleaning up here, and hopefully I don't make any more dumb mistakes in my haste to get this over with. We've taken their last city, which unfortunately is where the witch hut is. I was hoping it was a little closer. So now we're gonna go through the unfortunate process of getting our wounded units. Well, we're gonna get our healthy units retreated and then we're gonna get our healthy units up here so they can revive. I mean, our we'll get our healthy units retreated and our sick units, our injured units up here to revive and possibly de-stone. I still wanna test whether the witch's hut can de-stone. And this is a good way to do it. So that's what we're doing. Gonna be another screen wipe. I just thought I'd check in with you for now. Well, the good news here is that I was right. The witch indeed is able to fix revi uh, petrification for a fraction of the cost of both what a standard revive would be and what a revive stone would cost. So from now on, this will be our strategy if we get petrified again. So revive stones and altars of resurrection are only for in-field situations when you can't get to the witch's hut or when you need speed, which is good to know. And luckily we did not spend too much money getting all our units back into fighting shape. It's only cost us about a thousand goth, which is still a lot more than I wanted to spend, but a lot less than it would have cost if I had to do this the hard way. Um, although, again, these are mistakes that absolutely should not have happened in the first place. So, all the units are back to fighting shape. We're gonna leave the tired ones back, but send a few of the other ones forward, and see if we can engage this unit up there. The reason she's showing her back to us is we engaged her once before, but she sallies forth from her spot, so we need to sort of stop short. Otherwise, my people will be in danger of... Yep, of being caught from a flank or the rear, so this way that will not happen. And I haven't even seen this unit yet. I Oh my god, that is a lot of offense. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this unit yet. I saw it move, and I retreated whichever unit was closest. I forget who triggered the initial movement of this unit, but this unit's a bit of a pain in the ass, I can already tell. Lots of offense, but not a whole lot of defense. Actually, we might be all right. In fact, this unit might be okay. That archer is gonna get plenty beaten up though. This would be another one where Cam's unit would be useful because it would be difficult for the enemy to take them down. We probably won that fight. Shockingly, given we only had three attackers. It's not bad, though. But we won't really be able to finish it because it's a pain in the ass. So this is when we once again launch Kaelin into battle because the pumpkin head will make very short work of that cleric. And then we will be able to finish it off. Uh, assuming we don't take it from the back? Because if we take it from the back... Oh, whatever. Kaelin's taking it from the flank. Which does give us access to their leader. That's nice. Uh, yes, blow your healing already, since that's the only one you get. Hopefully the pumpkin head is smart enough to target her. And hopefully my own people don't go down during these initial strikes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we should be alright. Okay, hopefully the skeleton is smart enough to attack the cleric, the priest, and then we can play cleanup on... Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, good. Oh boy. That one was scary. We may have lost it, even. Nah, eh, we must have won it. Never mind. 
Yep. Okay, so Kalen can retreat back into the city, and we will play cleanup duty with this last unit, and then we will push on to the boss. I don't know how I'm going to handle the boss. I might use um, the Vanguard rather than using Slappy since he's so much stronger. Let's see what's going on with the... Wait, there's two units there? Ooh. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, ha Vega's gonna be the... No, they're... What the fuck? They're both priests? Well, whatever. I... I think I'll set... Oh, God, excuse me. Oh, that tasted horrible. Oh, oh. Oh, buffalo chicken pizza and root beer at the same time. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna just send the Vanguard after that last city because... Uh-oh, someone else is sallying forth. Who is that? That's Vega. Okay, so Vega's not the lead. Unless Vega is the lead? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know which of those is the boss here. It's probably her? Wow, all of those units are high uh, alignmented too. Huh. Alright, let's see how Vega does against Talithia here. That's not a good matchup for me, because I can't reach their lead. And we're gonna do very little damage. Oh, I guess the archer... Uh, yeah, we'll survive it, but we're gonna lose this fight. Just, we don't have the offense output here. And that's fine, we'll push... This unit can stay pushed back. And I'll send someone else to try to engage. Now that I know it's Sally's fourth, I can work with that and get a unit up here who's pretty strong. The unit that would be best suited for this would be Ryu's unit, since they're full magic and could wreck these golems, but that's not going to help me right now since Ryu's back at the headquarters. Uh, let's see, what about Jane Doe? Is she all magic? No, in fact, she's wounded. All right, never mind. Jane Doe retreat back to this last city. Um, you know, I hate to keep using him as a crutch, but we're going to send in Slappy because Slappy will weaken the golems pretty quick. And uh, then we can mop him up. So once again, I'm going to I'm gonna keep the recording going here. Um, at least until we see what kind of damage Slappy does. Cause that's always entertaining. Wow, they're not wanting to move here. Oh, here we go. All right, Slappy, hold your position. And is that the same unit? Yeah, it's Vega. All right, so Vega's not the boss, the other one is. I didn't, they didn't really give any plot for this one unless they did in the last episode. So I don't know why we're facing so many holy units here. All right, let's see what we can do against these golems. Man, see, even our power unit is not really doing a tremendous amount of damage. And unless they focus fire, that was a significant hit though. Like, Slappy did okay against the golem he's fighting. But the Paladin and Vad are not hitting all that hard. Okay, good. Yes. If the Paladin decides to gang up on the normal golem on the left, things will be okay. The golem on the right is a stone golem, which is why his defense is so high. And it could explain why he also suffers magic attacks. This is going to take for friggin' ever. This might be another Kalen one, because... Um... It might be the only way to get their hit points low enough that we can actually cause some damage. Of course, we got a net gain on that, but I don't know, man. I I forget. Is Kaylin healthy? Or did I... Yeah, she's healthy. Um, let's get Kaylin up there, and we'll pull Slappy back a step. 
Yeah, she's gonna... Alright, let's take advantage of this. Talithia, hit that unit. No! Hit phase unit, go. Sla slappy... I was gonna say, don't, don't let her take your back now. Oh, we confused the shit out of Vega. Alright, um... All right, we should win this fight, if nothing else, because we get a few free attacks. But... They're still gonna hit pretty hard. Of course, we also hit them in a way that they can't really hit us very hard because they only get a one attack each or so. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's all well and good, but I'm not... I can't finish that unit off, because now I'm being chased by friggin' Vega, so you need to get the hell out of here. Make it fast. Alright, Kaelin just... Yeah, okay, so... She's going after Kaelin, which is precisely what I wanted her to do. That is Vega. Um... And then, as soon as the fight engages, we're going to call an interrupt, because I don't want Kaelin hitting the leader. Which sounds weird, but the thing is I can't reach her. Well, fuck it. Okay, attack weakest. Go. So the pumpkin head should not... Oh, he's going to just do whatever the fuck he wants. Okay, well, fine, I guess. We'll switch it back to attack leader then. Well, that's useful. That's really useful. I didn't expect that to happen. All right. Um... Huh. Well, that's gonna work out. Okay. And probably Vega will immediately try to attack again. I'm kinda hoping what's gonna ha- Oh. I didn't expect that we'd lose. Alright. That's kind of a shock. And she's still coming. Against Kaelin. Okay. So we're gonna quickly get Kaelin healed up because heal leaves are cheap. And we again won't be able to reach the cleric, but I think the pumpkin head will take her out because she's only got three hit points. So each pumpkin that will hit her will take one hit point away. And I think he's going to hit her for with more than three pumpkins, which would kill her. And then we can mop her up. Wait, nope, she's going a different way. That's even better because now we've got her back. Either we're going to get her back, or she's going to take on whichever unit that is. Heretica? Okay, Talithia. So Talithia is getting struck from the front, but we've got two archers. If they get priority, then that priest is gone. That's too bad. That's really unfortunate. Hmm. this fight. Mm. Well, I really couldn't have done anything about this. This is very awkward. What I should have done was sent Kaelin back after this unit immediately. I just didn't think it would be necessary. Shit. I was hoping to catch it before she engaged again. We'll field pause, because I have a plan. Okay. We're still going to lose, because we just can't do any damage against the golems. That was significant. That was a good hit, but the archers aren't hitting her. I think it was the first shot that the archers delivered against the priest. Man, this is really annoying. That was a good shot. Because as long as she's pushing this unit back... Ah, shit. Alright, she's got her trapped. Okay, well, now we're going to engage 
uh, tactical plan, you run the hell away. Which, if you guys hopefully can keep up with my very detailed nomenclature, it's when we run the fuck away. So, Operation Run the Fuck Away is a go as soon as we get the hell out of here. Um, I mean, I can retreat, but there's no reason to. I was mainly worried if they would take one of my units out, a characters out, but it looks like they'd be all right. But with the field pause now, as soon as we get out of here, I can use a quick gate, assuming they have one. The problem is this unit is now pinned against the edge of the map. And she's going to keep getting the shit kicked out of her unless we get her out of here. And if she is fully pinned against the map, I may not have any way to get her out. So that's Talithia. Let's see if we can get Talithia at it. She does not have a quit gate. That's not good. That is the opposite of good. I sent her out without one of the spare quit gates. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. What we've got to hope for is that Kaelin can can initiate. Oh, I don't think she can. Oh, I outsmarted myself on this one. All right. This is a big, big problem. Because Talithia cannot do enough damage to outdo that priest's healing spells. It just can't happen. And our archers miss too often. Mm. If I swap the cleric and the right archer, it puts the cleric at risk, but both archers can then hit their priest. And it might be the only chance we have of... Oh, I didn't hit the button in time. It might be the only chance we have of keeping their priest in check. So let's try that. Like, I've got nothing else I can do. Um, because they've got me pincered. They, they did it perfectly right. Uh, so we're gonna change formation. We're gonna move the cleric to the left. Ugh, that's so horrible, though. Um. I'm thinking. If we move... Yeah, if we do that, it exposes both the cleric and that middle archer, but it ensures that this archer is protected and all four of my attackers are going after the cleric, or at least in the cleric's direction. And that's all we can do. That is all I can do until this resolves itself. Because now we're going to leave that stone golem alone, essentially. And I hate exposing everyone on the right side like that, but it's all I can do. That's what I was hoping for. If they can deliver those arrows and she doesn't dodge it, we will make them leaderless eventually. She'll heal herself, but I think... Well, we're, we're, we're putting her in an awkward position where she has to, she'll eventually have to choose whether to heal her own, or her golem, or whether to heal herself. Why did everyone get a, a chance to take a step there? That's, that's odd. Anyway. Um. So right now she's healing herself. Eventually, the knight will be able to wear down the golem enough that she'll have to change healing targets. Like, right now, I think she's going to want to heal. No, now she'll want to heal herself. Generally, priests and clerics will heal whoever has the fewest hit points. No, she healed the golem that time. Okay. So that's what I mean. So now, if the archers connect, which they did, now she's got a very low amount of health. And we won the fight. That's even better because it gives Talithia breathing room and dislodges her Vega. So now, um, Kaelin has a shot at her. Okay. That should work out. 
This is still going to be extremely annoying, but... Yes, we took her out. Good job, Pumpkin. Excellent job. Okay. So now that the unit is leaderless, this is no longer an issue, and now we're down to just two units we have to do mop-up duty on. All right, so we're going to mop up both of those units and then engage the boss with the Vanguard so we can start divvying the experience points around a little bit. Holy crap, man, this has been annoying. Talk about another tactical error. I forgot to change Talithia's formation back around. And now we just lost a character. One of the archers was taken down by this unit. So I'm going to have to have Talithia visit the witch's hut. And there's a few hundred more goth I'm going to have to pay. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, never mind. I really should. So yeah, Talithia is going to have to pay a visit over here. I'm going to have to pay some money for a mistake that shouldn't have happened. And uh, we're still going to be on cleanup duty for a bit. Jane Doe is on cleanup duty, and in the last skirmish, her dragon evolved. So that's goddamn frightening. Hot damn, that's going to be fantastic for us. All right, we're going to reevaluate levels and then send the vanguard. Actually, I don't know why we need to reevaluate levels. Fuck it. We'll just send the vanguard now. Champion statuette. Oh, I think that does charisma. All right, so we're going to just send everybody except Slappy at the boss. And whatever happens, happens. Um, I don't... Even though they have a bunch of paladins... The fact that we're going to hit them all at once with everybody and Slappy is just hanging out watching this happen in case he wants to get involved means this should go pretty smoothly for us. The only problem will be is if someone is more wounded than I think they are. So I'm going to quickly... You know what I could do? I could do it from the organized screen. Our new super dragon is wounded, but aside from him, I think... Everyone's had enough time to rest up and get their wounds licked, so I guess I'll check it from the organized screen. We'll see if uh, we see anyone who's really badly wounded. So, oh, I have to do it. No, I can't do it. Oh, you're an ass. Um, ah, eh, fuck it. I trust myself, which I probably shouldn't do. And if a unit engages and they're very low, then we'll just immediately retreat them. But yeah, Slappy's going to hang out back here, and if there really is a problem, then he can get involved. But given the entire vanguard is charging, I don't think... Oh, and we're taking him from a flank. That might help, too. Oh, yeah, it looks like their lead cleric is going to be up front. Tell me, what is your definition of revolution? Is it to win battles? You say it's the right of the strong to rule over the weak? If that's the case, then don't expect the weak to remain so. I don't want a revolution. I don't want an uncertain future. I don't want to suffer. I'll protect the happiness that I have right now. Ah. Oh shit, she is protected. That's a very awkward... Weird. Alright, whatever. Anyway. Um. Hmm. Well, Elemental Pedro a whole... Uh, 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 away. The nice thing here is she only gets that first heal due to her positioning. The only problem is we won't really be able to follow up, but if all of our units get to attack her from a flank, then we might be pretty okay here. And we've got all three Pedras ready to go, so we'll be able to do some damage. Oh my god, we might just... Oh, come on! You couldn't hit her that last one, the one last time? Ah, oh, tits. Cleric, heal- oh, never mind. I was gonna say Cleric, heal that archer, but fuck it. We're done! Good job, everybody! Way to play! Too bad this is the end of your revolution. Lotus, the Lotus Empire sent troops here. This is the end of- Palatinus. 
This goes back to that thing I was saying before about how you don't normally have more than two sides in a war in fiction, and this game is showing multiple sides in a war. Because during an incursion or anything, uh, you're gonna have situations like that where some of the populace just want things to stay as they are. They don't care about revolution or loyalty to the crap. They don't care about either of the big two sides. They just want shit to stay the same. Hi, Troy. Wow, I can't believe this. Lotus. The Holy Lotus Empire's force is finally here. Oh, man, we're in... Wait. Oh, man, we're in deep shit! Fuck off! As the Akamara likes doing. Everybody remain calm, or I'm gonna start doing what my name implies. Since joining the Revolutionary Army, we knew this was inevitable, right? Uh, no? Lotus's prime objective must be to eliminate us, the Revolutionary Army. They will block contact with the Eastern Orthodox Church, cutting off reinforcements. Uh, wait a moment. They could elect the Eastern Orthodox Church as their primary target instead. I don't get it, Hugo. Why would Lotus attack the Eastern Orthodox Church? They haven't done anything yet. That's the point, dumbass. It is a common tactic to defeat the enemy one group at a time. Either the Eastern Orthodox Church is the smallest militarily, and therefore the easiest to defeat. And doing so will leave us standing alone. Uh, we haven't received any report on Lotus's activity, but the matter will only worsen if we remain idle. We must contact the Eastern Orthodox Church. We need to gain their support, but we can't endanger them. Hmm. Meanwhile, at the Eastern Orthodox Church, or not, isn't that General Mustache over there? Please stand back, Sir Kirikov. Archbishop or uh, uh, Adiron? Devil! The devil has possessed her! So he only looks like General Mustache. S Sir K Kirikov? Uh! Ira, stop! I I'm sorry. The devil possessed the birth and sentinel? The archbishop had a pact with the devil? Ugh. Eastern Orthodox Church is the seventh of the netherworld! I don't know what voice I'm doing right now. I'm scaring myself. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this one. Um, it's very late as I record this, so I believe this is going to be my one and only episode for this recording session because good lord guys may have only been like I'm a bad judge of how long this actually is since all I have to go on is my raw audio file but however long it's been for you uh it's been almost three hours for me so it is late and I need to get to bed so and I still need to finish training and shit between episodes so I'm going to try to get the fourth elemental Pedra. It looks like I'm not going to have any work to do on any of the units. Well, maybe maybe I'll upgrade a few around. Because some of these units do need some TLC. Um, so we'll... I'll figure something out here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure something out and... We'll have... We'll have something going on for the next one. I already see a few things I'm going to change around. But... That's going to do it for today. Um, the battalion will basically look the same next time around, and we will continue the story from there. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.